from misreading the track, back marker issues, whatever it was. Back marker in between. Oh, Herling's over the bars! What happened there? Oh, he's slow to pick himself up as well, out of the lead. It was a big crash, a violent crash. He hit the ground hard, real hard. And Jorge Prado wins race one here in Germany. Couldn't hold on, he clearly had issues, but his mentality as a racer, as a, as a champion, is finish at all costs. If you can finish, worry about the rest afterwards. A heroic performance, but it was also a, a costly one as well. A little bit of insight then into uh, that crash of Jeffrey Hurlings in Germany. Right, Lisa Leyland was down on the grid a few moments ago doing her little thing. She caught up with a couple of Spanish riders, Jorge Prado, but before that, Ruben Fernandez. Now that was a good MX2 race, but we have so much more to come. We're almost ready for MXGP race one. Let's catch up with Team HRC's Ruben Fernandez. Uh, Ruben, just a quick chat with you about qualifying yesterday. Good start in the battle for second. It looked like you were maybe struggling a little bit, battling yourself on the track, on the bike a little bit. How was it from your seat? Well, you couldn't say it better. Actually, I was fighting with myself. Uh, you know, I felt like I was too tired, didn't get to uh, get a good feeling with the track. Uh, and yeah, after a few laps, I just got arm pump and yeah, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be riding on the, with flow, let's say. Uh, then I got passed by a few riders until at the end of the moto, I got again a little bit of a pace, but feeling was not great, I can't tell you. Well, look, you podiumed in Germany last round, you podiumed here last year. You've previously said to us that you've actually been looking forward to come to this track. You like it here. So I guess if you stay out of trouble, the plan is to aim for a podium? Yeah, uh, I mean, let's let's see if I can get a good start and then we'll work it out from there. Uh, here, we, we saw it yesterday, it's, it's important to, to get a good start and later if you have a, if, if you get uh, good into the rhythm, then you can keep the position until the finish line, then that, that will be good for me. Let's have a look, Ruben, thank you for chatting to us. Let's speak to Red Bull Gas Gas, Jorge Prado. Um, Jorge, you came into this round, solid performance in Germany, went 1-1-1. Your closest challenger, Jeffrey Hurlings, unfortunately isn't here. Um, we don't like seeing injuries. We wish Jeffrey a speedy recovery. But because he's not here, do you feel like maybe the pressure's off just a little bit? Well, um, you know, Jeffrey, it's a very tough competitor, but still we have very tough ones still on the gate. So my main focus is to stay calm and concentrated and uh, try to do the best I can. Obviously, we are here to race and I will try to go for the win. That's my main goal in every single race. So uh, hopefully we can make it happen. Temperature is high, but uh, I'm feeling good. So we'll see how it goes. And just quickly about this track here, mixed, mixed conditions, really. I mean, some of the uphills are sandy, a little bit like Lummel. Downhill corners are a little hard packed like French tracks. What are your thoughts about it? Yeah, I mean, the dirt is quite weird, but also, you know, with this weather, it's quite hard to get it very, like, wet. So, um, in places, it's very dry, but, uh, yeah, you need to care be careful. Um, try to stay on the bike the whole time and uh, try to enjoy it. Best of luck. Enjoy Thank it. Thank you, Jorge Prado. Uh, good luck to all the guys. It's time for MXGP race one. Putting the ice vest on there immediately after that before... Uh, Heading out onto the sighting lap ahead of an XGP race one here in Indonesia. But yeah, after uh, Germany, Jorge Prado arrived here 67 points clear of Jeffrey Hurlings with Roman Fevre another 39 further back. But that all changed after the qualifying race on uh, Saturday afternoon. And uh, if you didn't already see it, here's what happened in the MXGP qualifying race yesterday, the Ram qualifying race. Roman Fevre, fastest in free practice, fastest in time practice, took the first gate available to him, and it worked for him as well. He crossed the line ahead of everybody else, even though Jorge Prado was there on the outside. This is Valentin Guillo down the inside. He's in around about 10th place alongside the 259 of Glenn Koldenoff ahead of them. The 10 of Volandrin, ran the outside there. Petr Petrov, birthday boy yesterday. Fevre continued to lead, though. Ruben Fernandez was there in second position, and he stayed there for the first six laps, so half of the race, and he looked comfortable 
with Siwa and Prado and Koldenoff behind him. They were all at a, quite a, a steady distance behind him. This was towards the end of the opening lap as uh, Fernandez actually went from fourth to second around the first couple of corners. Mitch Evans, who was in around fifth place, had that moment, picked himself up around about seventh or eighth. Uh, well, actually a bit lower than that. He got back to eighth for his, for his best qualifying of the season. Prado didn't quite bring his A game to the qualifying, but did just enough. But this was the moment when Fernandez just started to hit the, uh, the panic rev button a little bit. He lost a position to... Siwa and then Prado and then Koldanoff went through and before you knew it Fernandez was down in fifth place top of the hill into the left-hander that was Koldanoff getting the better of uh, Prado 